In 2013, two London-based banks lent two billion to three state-owned companies in Mozambique. The loans were not approved by the Mozambican parliament, breaking our constitution. Subsequent revelations have shown that much of the money was stolen or wasted. Mozambique civil society is calling for the Mozambique people not to have to pay one cent of these loans. Instead, the Mozambique politicians and London-based banks who arrange the deals should be held to account. The indictments outline the full extent of corruption and fraud conducted by various partners involved in the $2.2 billion loans. FMU is disappointed by slow response by action by UK authorities in holding those responsible accountable for the illegal debt scandal. While three Credit Suisse bankers have been arrested as part of the US investigation, one of whom pleaded guilty yesterday, no action has been taken against any bankers from VTB, no action has been taken against Credit Suisse, and VTB has corporate entities. And UK regulators have not done anything. We were dismayed by the 2018 decision of the UK Financial Conduct Authority to downgrade the investigation into Credit Suisse role in Mozambique illegal debt scandal from criminal to regulatory inquiry. This was despite glaring evidence has presented in an audit by the US company Crow and other available information on the potential, potential criminal conduct by Credit Suisse and VTB. For example, the UK's Bribery Act requires companies to have systems in place to prevent corruption. We believe there is strong evidence that such systems were lacking in this case. We remain concerned that the FCA, FCA's decision on Mozambique is part of a broader systematic failures, which ultimately threaten the sustainability of London as an international financial center. It has thus been difficult for FMU to explain to our constituencies all over Mozambique how the UK authorities responsible for financial sector regulation have and continue to fail to sanction responsible banks for their role in the 2.2 billion scandal. 1,000 people from Mozambique have written to the UK government calling for full investigation of the role of the UK banks in the scandal, and they have been joined by another 1,000 people from the UK through Jubilee Debt Campaign. <coughs> the people of Mozambique have long established relationships with the UK government through its agencies, receiving development assistance through various well-designed <coughs> development projects. This support <coughs> has over the years contributed to the development of Mozambique and saved thousands of lives through timely, timely interventions. Our people are thus shocked that the UK government is not at the forefront of efforts to hold their, to account the banks, as well as politicians re responsible and ensure that the people of Mozambique do not have to pay these debts. Um, Mozambique was roughly an open um, environment for civil society to voice their their, their opinion uh, for citizens uh, to protest, to manifest, until this deal was uh, striked. From this moment, and especially because it does involve uh, high-level uh, security, uh, of security service officials in Mozambique, we started seeing the space for civil society to operate and to voice their opinions to shrink. Uh, we started seeing, um, we have been, um, um, denied the right to protest, uh, to manifest. Um, we have seen an increase of attacks in social media against anyone that speaks out on this issue. Um, so it's not only the fact that these, um, these loans, these illegal, uh, this fraud is having a humanitarian impact in Mozambique. It's also shrinking the space uh, for citizens uh, to voice and to monitor governance, to demand transparency, accountability. Um, we don't know from the time we land at the airport that if we will get home, and that's the reality, that's the truth.
we are talking about security services, you know, our cell phones, computers, our devices, everything are being traced from the day we started this campaign. So um, for us, it's not only about the fact that the UK uh, financial systems have gaps that need to be addressed uh, so that these kind of loans don't uh, happen again. It's not only about the fact that um, there is, uh, it is about illicit um, flow of capitals from the south to the global north, as you, as you said, but it is also about threatening the lives of people, uh, the lives of citizens that are trying to influence um, for these uh, issues to be addressed, either the, 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 the fraud, but also um, uh, in terms of fixing the systems in Mozambique and here.